The US and Elon Musk are making history by releasing a groundbreaking hypersonic jet fighter. Or at least that's what the internet wants you to believe. Despite swirling rumors that the United States government and Elon Musk are developing an advanced fighter jet called the X-1, no official announcement has been made to back up these claims. However, that's not to say we can totally dismiss these rumors as mere fantasy. As the saying goes, the devil is often in the details, and there is some truth considering SpaceX recently released a massive and fully reusable launch and landing system. They call this innovative spacecraft the Starship, otherwise known as the X-1. It is an impressive vehicle designed to carry crew and cargo to Earth's orbit and beyond capable of carrying up to 150 metric tons fully reusable and 250 metric tons expendable, it is the world's most powerful launch vehicle. Of course, with a large influence from Elon Musk, the revolutionary X-1 spacecraft uses technology so advanced the Pentagon claims it breaks the laws of physics. As a super heavy rocket, the founder of SpaceX is confident that this spacecraft is capable of interplanetary flights and could one day take us to Mars. But what makes this particular hypersonic jet stand out? And how could the invention of the X-1 become a turning point in history? Well, for starters, the X-1 hypersonic jet has audiences in awe because it breaks previous aircraft limitations in speed, stealth, and precision. In other words, it is an all-round game-changer in the defense and aerospace sectors, which could have a global ripple effect. For context, the average hypersonic jet is an advanced aircraft that travels at speeds exceeding Mach 5. That means it travels five times faster than the speed of sound, which translates to over 3,800 miles per hour. As impressive as that sounds, there's more. When an object travels at such rapid speeds, the air around it starts to behave differently. If you remember your elementary physics, you might recall that as velocity increases, so does the force of air resistance. As a result, when a hypersonic jet travels at over 3,800 miles per hour, it experiences immense drag that creates challenges like intense heat and shock waves. To overcome that resistance, this aircraft requires specialized materials that are a combination of carbon-carbon composites, ceramic, and silicon nitride to withstand extremely high temperatures. That's what makes the X-1 an unmatched speedster. It is capable of exceeding Mach 7, making it faster than the speed of sound seven times over. I imagine the Flash might even have a hard time keeping up with it. At speeds of over 5,200 miles per hour, it is twice as fast as the iconic SR-71 Blackbird fighter jet, easily making it one of the fastest vehicles humans have ever designed. To top it off, even at these breakneck speeds, the X-1 can still perform complex maneuvers while in the air and outpaces other existing fighter jets. That means it would also be great at evading advanced air defense systems. Besides having unmatched speed and agility, another reason the X-1 stands out is that it uses state-of-the-art scramjet propulsion technology. This advanced propulsion system works by compressing incoming air traveling at high speeds and using the product of that combustion to sustain hypersonic travel. If you know anything about engineering, it's actually quite an ingenious feat because it eliminates the need for traditional turbines. Thus, instead of weighing your aircraft down with those bulky engine systems, you get a sleeker, lightweight fighter jet with better performance and range. The Starship is expected to help enable satellite delivery and development of the moon base by fast-tracking point-to-point transport here on Earth. That's in no small part thanks to its larger-than-usual payload compartment. The SpaceX team designed the X-1 to carry payloads farther and at a lower marginal cost per launch than current Falcon vehicles. For context, the Starship can transport as much as 250,000 kilograms to Earth's orbit with one-time use. In comparison, it is more than 10 times the capacity of Falcon 9 at 22,800 kilograms and almost four times as large as the Falcon Heavy. As you'd expect, this substantial increase means the Starship is far more equipped to complete larger and more complex space missions, which could reshape space exploration by increasing our capabilities. 
Similar to their cousin company's vision to create a more sustainable future, SpaceX engineers were diligent during the innovation process, making X-1 remarkably efficient for its performance. It consumes 30% less fuel than traditional military aircraft, making it a truly modern vehicle. Besides being more economical, its improved fuel efficiency also extends the X-1's range. In other words, it can travel farther and longer than other jets before needing to stop for refueling. This sustainable approach makes it ideal for long-range missions with limited supplies and allied bases, which could increase the strategic value of the X-1 to the American military if it were ever needed. To double down, the Starship is also capable of refilling on orbit, sort of like stopping at an outer space gas station. That means, in theory, you could easily refill the spacecraft at the moon base before continuing to Mars. Its remarkably efficient fueling system also makes it the perfect vehicle to develop a moon base and help NASA resume lunar missions for the first time in 50 years. However, this is not just a pipe dream, as SpaceX designed the Starship especially to carry the heavy building blocks that would enable research and the development of a moon base. Beyond that, Elon Musk sees a fleet of X-1 jets carrying people and cargo across our solar system as a form of interplanetary transportation. Having conquered Earth's orbit and the moon, the founder of SpaceX has set his sights on the Red Planet and is fully confident the Starship can take 100 people to Mars and other distant destinations. Would you ever volunteer for such a mission? Let me know in the comment section below. But let's come down to Earth for a second. Despite SpaceX primarily designing the Starship as a spacecraft, its impressive capabilities could have versatile functions on the planet. For starters, as an unmatched speedster and one of the fastest vehicles ever recorded, it could complete a journey from London to New York in just 45 minutes. That would completely disrupt the way we travel, making intercontinental trips as quick and easy as interstate ones. As a hypothetical military tool with speeds exceeding Mach 7, the X-1 could deal decisive and incredibly precise strikes on enemy targets anywhere in the world within minutes. It would be the fastest hit and run, and could allow the US to destroy high-value targets before the enemy has time to react or intercept the mission. Hands down, one of the most impressive features of the X-1 is its incredibly advanced stealth technology. This hypersonic jet is capable of minimizing radar reflections and infrared signatures, allowing it to infiltrate heavily defended airspace undetected. Despite the primary purpose of the X-1 being to transport people and cargo from Earth to space, there's no denying that its advancements could make it a valuable weapon in aerial combat. As a military vehicle, the US could use it to bypass even the most advanced air systems, transporting troops and cargo right under the enemy's nose. With such technology, America would dominate the skies with little resistance in completing missions. Of course, the X-1's altitude ceiling of 105,000 feet would also help greatly. As a military aircraft, the Starship could provide expansive surveillance range, giving the US the upper hand in reconnaissance missions and making it nearly impossible for the enemy to launch a surprise attack. Besides, at such heights, it would also be undetectable by most radar systems and immune to traditional anti-aircraft weapons. That means it could effectively monitor enemy troop movements and track missile launches even in hostile enemy territory without getting spotted. Knowing about the X-1's presence and hypersonic capabilities, adversaries like China and Russia would inevitably become concerned by the unparalleled power abilities of such a jet fighter. And like the space race, if the US were to announce the development of such a project, it could trigger another armed race to determine which country has the superior military. Now let me tell you more about other US fighter jets. As astounding as the X-1 is, it is merely following the trajectory set by the US as far back as the 1960s. During the Cold War, its parent model, the X-15, made headlines as an iconic rocket plane at the forefront of cutting-edge hypersonic aerodynamics. Fueled by the intense competition of the space race, the US government poured millions of dollars into aerospace research in a bid to beat their military rival and come out on top. 
Using the wing of a modified B-52 bomber, the X-15 could reach record-breaking speeds of Mach 6.7 at altitudes over 100,000 feet. At the time, it was the world's fastest rocket plane, and engineers believe its groundbreaking design was instrumental in ushering in the space age. Even the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong, piloted an X-15, a stepping stone that would eventually prepare him for his world-breaking Apollo 11 mission. Following the success of X-15, Lockheed Martin, a leading global defense and aerospace contractor, decided to launch an ambitious project with the X-24C. So in the 1970s, their engineers got to work on combining a rocket engine with a hydrogen-fueled air-breathing ramjet. Also known as the Lockheed L-301, the X-24C was meant to build on the achievements of the X-15's ability to skip off the Earth's atmosphere. It was also meant to take notes from its immediate predecessor, the X-24B's experimental and unique re-entry and landing technique that later space shuttles would use. If the program had been successful, the X-24C would have been able to reach neck-breaking speeds of Mach 8 and perform hypersonic skip-glide maneuvers for long-range missions. Unfortunately, Lockheed had to scrap the program due to budgetary concerns, allowing Russia and China to take the lead in operational hypersonic weapons. After being left in the dust for two long years, Lockheed decided to try again and proposed the Lockheed Martin SR-72 privately in 2013. Intended to be a successor to an earlier retired model, the SR-71 in 1998, the SR-72, otherwise called Son of Blackbird, is aiming to reach speeds six times the speed of sound, or Mach 6. However, these stats are mostly speculative, and we won't know for sure if it can reach those lofty dreams till its first planned flight later this year. And if it all goes according to plan, we might see the Son of Blackbird in military service as we enter the 2030s. Another hypersonic fighter jet that would have been interesting to see in the 2030s was the hypersonic conventional strike weapon, HCSW. Despite proposals of making the HCSW a formidable aircraft that could beat speeds of Mach 5 and even launch long-range missiles, the U.S. government decided to put a halt on the program in 2020, even after meeting all its developmental milestones. To explain this abrupt decision, Air Force spokeswoman Anne Stefanik said, We will continue to work collaboratively with our sister services to see how we can most effectively leverage each other's capabilities, ensuring the most prudent use of taxpayer dollars. So in the end, I guess it all came down to budgetary concerns because not long after, Stefanik announced that the ARR W was on track. That brings us to the AGM 183 ARRW, which the US government favored above the hypersonic conventional strike weapon. The team initially had plans to make this aircraft reach speeds of Mach 7, but the boost glide vehicle eventually settled at Mach 5. Ironic, considering SpaceX's Starship beats such speeds with ease. Unfortunately, being too slow wouldn't be the only disappointment the team faced, as the ARRW would fail again and again to launch successfully, eventually getting scrapped in March 2023. Despite its short lifetime, the ARRW would still cause quite a stir in 2024 when the U.S. Air Force revealed live images of it parked under a B-52H bomber in their Guam base. Considering how close that is to China, it was like the U.S. was showing off its hypersonic weapon in China's backyard. However, the development of SpaceX's X-1 has had its fair share of rumors. For starters, there are several images circulating on the internet of Elon Musk posing with a red hypersonic fighter jet. These pictures have fueled the earlier claims we debunked of SpaceX collaborating with the U.S. government to produce weapons of warfare. While the X-1 demonstrates impressive capabilities, and there is certainly room for its advanced technology to trickle down and improve modern fighter jets, it is primarily a space aircraft. Craft. After conducting a thorough search on Google, fact seekers revealed that the images were not shared by SpaceX. The same also goes for the UFO fighter jet Tesla allegedly released. Apart from the dubious claims about the US government and SpaceX working together to release a new hypersonic jet fighter, there is some real controversy surrounding the possibility. 
For starters, critics argue that the introduction of hypersonic weapons to modern warfare could undermine existing peace treaties by upsetting current power dynamics. Thus, if the U.S. were to make a move to develop a hypersonic jet fighter, it would undoubtedly increase global tensions and could easily spark a global arms race. Of course, that also raises the fear of misuse of these arms, considering their impressive speed and stealth capabilities. However, some people argue that these concerns are merely catastrophizing inevitable human technological developments. One thing is for sure, though. Developing hypersonic propulsion systems does come with great costs to our planet. SpaceX requires a lot of materials during production that lead to environmental degradation and could undo all recent efforts to combat climate change. There's also the threat of increased space debris as the X-1 makes several trips to the Earth's orbit and back. On a smaller scale, back on Earth, developing hypersonic weapons would inevitably have a civilian impact. The focus on military advancements could force governments to divert funds away from societal needs like healthcare, education, and poverty alleviation in favor of winning the arms race. As a result, while the X-1 represents a monumental leap in aerospace technology, its potential to transform the military and political landscape as a weapon requires global attention. So what are your thoughts on SpaceX's X-1 hypersonic jet? Do you think it would be a good idea for the military to weaponize it, or is the cost too great? Let me know in the comments section below.